Welcome to Your Space Journey, where we venture into the future of space exploration. Your journey begins now. Welcome back to Your Space Journey. Today we are diving deep into a really exciting project, Blue Origin's new Glenn rocket. Um, you've probably heard about SpaceX, but Blue Origin is another major player in this new era of private spaceflight. Yeah, that's right. And their suborbital New Shepard rocket has already proven, well, they've proven that they can successfully launch and land a reusable spacecraft. But New Glenn, this is their chance to really shake things up in the world of heavy lift rockets. Okay, so for our deep dive today, we've got articles, company statements, the whole shebang. Let's unpack what makes New Glenn so special, especially its upcoming inaugural mission featuring the Blue Ring Pathfinder. So first off, New Glenn is massive. It's a two-stage rocket designed to lift truly heavy payloads. We're talking 100,000 pounds to Earth orbit. To put that in perspective, imagine lifting four spatial orbiters into space at once. That's mind-blowing. And like the Falcon 9, New Glenn's first stage will land vertically, making it reusable. But instead of a drone ship, it'll touch down on a gigantic sea platform called Jacqueline. Exactly. It's a fascinating design choice. And when you look at New Glenn, it has a very different visual profile compared to Falcon 9. Those four movable fins and two strakes give it better aerodynamic control during descent. So what will New Glenn actually be carrying into space? I mean, what's the point of all this lifting power? Well, New Glenn is designed to carry both crew and cargo with ambitions for missions in Earth orbit and beyond. Think satellites, scientific payloads, maybe even supplies for a future lunar base. Whoa, a lunar base. Now we're talking. Huh. But all that power has to come from somewhere. Tell me about the engines on this beast. Ah, uh, the heart of any rocket. New Glenn uses powerful BE-4 engines for its first stage, burning a mixture of liquid oxygen and methane. Methane? Isn't that unusual for rocket fuel? It's becoming more common. Methane is a good choice because it's relatively easy to produce and store. Plus, it burns cleaner than some other fuels. Interesting. And what about the second stage? The second stage uses BE3U engines, burning liquid oxygen and hydrogen. Hydrogen is great for upper stages because it produces very little exhaust, which is important in the vacuum of space. So different fuels for different stages, each chosen for its specific advantages. That's really cool. But another thing I found interesting was that these engines are entirely American made. You're right. That's a big deal. It reduces America's reliance on foreign technology for spaceflight which has implications for national security and self-sufficiency in space. So New Glenn isn't just about pushing the boundaries of space travel. It's also about bolstering American capabilities. Exactly. Now, initially, New Glenn was supposed to launch NASA's Escapade small sats to Mars for its first mission. Escapade? What's that all about? Escapade stands for Escape and Plasma Acceleration and Dynamics Explorers. Essentially, it's a mission involving two small satellites that would study Mars's magnetic field and atmosphere, but unfortunately. The mission had to be postponed due to some delays in New Glenn's development. Delays? That's not uncommon in spaceflight, right? Things are incredibly complex, and safety has to come first. You got it. Blue Origin is clearly prioritizing a meticulous approach to ensure the success of this massive project. And so, for its inaugural flight, New Glenn will now be carrying Blue Origin's own Blue Ring Pathfinder. Blue Ring Pathfinder. That sounds intriguing. Tell me more about this Blue Ring project. Think of Blue Ring as a versatile platform designed for a whole range of operations in space, launching hardware, adjusting satellites, refueling, even cloud computing in orbit. Cloud computing in space. That's wild. But what role will this Pathfinder play? The Pathfinder is essentially a demonstrator, testing the core functionalities of the Blue Ring project during New Glenn's first flight. Things like communication systems, power management, and how well it functions in the harsh environment of space. So it's like sending a mini version of Blue Ring on a test run before they deploy the real deal. Precisely. And what's fascinating is that the Defense Innovation Unit, or DIU, is funding this mission, suggesting some potential military applications for this technology in the future. Wow. This is way more than just a rocket launch. We're talking about a major step forward for space exploration and possibly even national security. Absolutely. And there's so much more to explore about the Blue Ring Pathfinder and its capabilities. We are just scratching the surface here. Yeah. Which makes this deep dive even more exciting. But for now, let's shift our focus to the specifics of what this Pathfinder will actually be doing up there in space. So we've established that the Blue Ring Pathfinder is going up on New Glenn's first flight to test out the technology, but what will it actually be doing up there? Well, imagine it as a high-tech backpack. 
-hmm. attached to the second stage of New Glenn. It's packed with a communications array, power systems, and a flight computer. Everything it needs to operate independently. Okay, so it's got the gear. What about the actual tests? What will it be doing during those six hours in orbit? Six hours is a good chunk of time to gather valuable data. During its time in space, the Pathfinder will be busy testing communication links with ground stations back on Earth. Think of it like a long-distance call. But instead of your phone, it's a sophisticated satellite, sending telemetry data, tracking signals, and responding to commands from mission control. So it's not just passively riding along. It's actively working and proving it can communicate effectively from orbit. What else will they be testing? They'll also be using radiometric tracking to precisely monitor the Pathfinder's position and movement. This helps ensure we understand exactly where it is and how it's behaving in space. And here's something else that's interesting. The Pathfinder stays attached to the second stage of New Glenn for the entire mission. Why is that? Wouldn't it be more beneficial to detach and operate independently? Well, remember, this mission is all about demonstrating the core technology for the larger Blue Ring project. Keeping it attached to the second stage simplifies things for this initial test flight. It reduces the complexity and risk, allowing them to focus on gathering data and validating those critical functionalities. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. So let's zoom out a bit and talk more about Blue Ring itself. You mentioned it designed to address the challenges of growing space infrastructure and increasing mobility in space. Can you elaborate on what that means? Imagine space is becoming like a bustling city. More and more satellites and spacecraft are being launched, leading to increasing congestion and complexity. Blue Ring is like building a sophisticated transportation system in this city, making it easier to move things around and manage that growing traffic. Okay, I'm starting to see the bigger picture here. So Blue Ring aims to create a more organized and efficient space environment. Exactly. It's envisioned as a sort of space-based hub with multiple capabilities. Think of it as a multi-tool for space. It can move between different orbits, deploy payloads to specific locations, host experiments, and even provide communication and computing services, all while managing a diverse array of payloads. It sounds like Blue Ring could revolutionize how we operate in space. What kinds of payloads can it handle? Well, its payload capacity is impressive. 3,000 kilograms distributed across 13 ports. That means it can carry a variety of payloads to various destinations, from smaller ESPA and ESPA Grande class satellites to larger payloads weighing up to 2.5 metric tons on its top deck. And we're not just talking about low Earth orbit either. Blue Ring is designed to reach destinations like geostationary orbit, GEO, the area around the moon, cislunar space, mm -hmm. and even interplanetary destinations. Wow. So it's not limited to just one area of space. This thing can go far. So Blue Ring is essentially creating a more flexible and dynamic space environment, a bit like building roads and infrastructure in space to allow for easier access and movement. That's a great analogy. And just like roads and infrastructure have revolutionized transportation on Earth, Blue Ring has the potential to revolutionize how we operate in space. This could be a real game changer. It certainly sounds like it. This entire project is incredibly exciting. We're witnessing the early stages of what could be a truly transformative era in space exploration and utilization, New Glenn Blue Ring, the Pathfinder mission. These are all pieces of a much larger puzzle that's rapidly reshaping our relationship with space. But before we get ahead of ourselves, let's take a moment to reflect on what we've learned and consider the wider implications of these groundbreaking technologies. So we've covered a lot of ground in this deep dive. Into Blue Origin's New Glenn and the upcoming mission of the Blue Ring Pathfinder. Reusable rockets, advanced engines, space-based infrastructure. It's mind-blowing to think about how rapidly our capabilities in space are advancing. It really is remarkable. And, it, you know, yeah. I think it's worth emphasizing that we're really just at the beginning of this new era in space exploration and utilization. The innovations we're seeing with projects like New Glenn and Blue Ring have the potential to reshape our relationship with space in very profound ways. Yeah, it really feels like we're we're on the verge of a whole new chapter here. Yeah. What are some of the broader implications you see emerging from these developments? Hmm. Well, if you think about connecting these advancements to the bigger picture of the growing space economy, I think we can start to envision a future where access to space becomes increasingly affordable and routine. Imagine launching payloads into orbit becoming as commonplace as shipping cargo across the ocean. Wow. That would truly be a game changer. What kind of impact could that have on different sectors? Oh, gosh. The possibilities are vast. Think about the potential for scientific research. We could build larger and more sophisticated telescopes, send probes to distant planets, and conduct experiments in microgravity that would be impossible on Earth. 
and space tourism could become more accessible, allowing more people to experience the wonder of space travel firsthand. Yeah. It's incredible to think about the potential for human expansion into space. Yeah. With increased activity also comes increased responsibility. Right. We have to think about sustainability and ensuring we don't repeat the mistakes we've made here on Earth. Absolutely. You bring up a crucial point. As we venture further into space, we must prioritize responsible practices. Minimizing space debris, protecting the orbital environment, and ensuring the long-term sustainability of our activities in space should be paramount. Absolutely. So for our listeners out there who have joined us on this deep dive into Blue Origin's ambitious projects, we hope you're feeling as inspired and excited as we are about the future of space exploration. It really is a future filled with immense possibilities. And as this new chapter unfolds, it's crucial for all of us to engage in informed and thoughtful discussions about the kind of future we want to create in space. Well said. New Glenn Blue Ring, the Pathfinder mission. These are all pieces of a larger puzzle that's rapidly reshaping our relationship with space. And with that in mind, we'd like to leave you with a question to ponder. With advancements in reusable rockets and versatile space platforms, what new possibilities do you envision for the future of space? Thank you for joining us on your space journey. We hope this deep dive has sparked your imagination and left you with a sense of wonder about the incredible possibilities that lie ahead in the realm of space exploration. Until next time, keep looking up. Your space journey.